Hey, we're back. Welcome to another episode of Grifflands. There will be a there will need to be a transition here apparently. I cannot we just recorded the other run. I'm going to leave, but we can't leave. The game tells me we'll lose lose progress if we leave halfway through a conversation, so here. It's early morning, but the Grog and Dog his patrons are already hard at work on their drinks. Well, that's just sad. Um, <laughs> so I know that you thought I should hold off on that bounty, but after last night, if Cassia wants me to be her worst nightmare, I'd like to oblige. How are you going to do that? She knows you're here, and she's got money and goons to keep her safe. What do you got? You? You're damn right. Lucky for you. I have a couple of contacts who want Cassia dead almost as much as you do. If you can convince them to work with you, well, they need convincing? Afraid so. The Admiralty doesn't trust hunters as a rule, but talk to my contract and see if you can convince her otherwise. But taking out Cassio would make her space the Spreed, loosely organized collection of bandits, crime rings, and illegal debt brokers, be more happy, more than happy to fill. I know somebody, somebody who will talk to you, especially if you can bring him Cassio's head on a platter. Okay, um, look, I head out, <laughs> head out so I can leave. Okay, we can leave. I'll, I will see you next time, but the continue is gonna, the episode's gonna continue. Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of Grifflands. Well, I think I already did this in the, the preamble, but. I forget, that was like three days ago for me. Um, I actually forget what we were doing. You're, you're gold? Picking sides. But why are you gold? Maybe because you're just a merchant? Okay. Um, I, I kind of forget what happened in Grifflands, to be honest. Um, except that I was pogged out of my mind. Um... What have you got here? Mercenaries available for hire. Picking sides. Um. No, oh, give me the. <laughs> Please, give me the the quest. Um, I don't know if we know any of these people. Hold up. Let's let's view. So four people like us. Who who loves us? Topo. And then we've got Cougar, Shell, Fish, Rake, Cougar, Shell. Okay, so they. They are not involved in this quest. Neither are these people. Hates you. Neither are these people. And you're dead. How do we get a killer card if only one person is dead? <laughs> Come on. You, just because you kill one person doesn't mean you're a bad guy. At least that's what I tell myself. <laughs> um, the spree is a... Okay, so Fish says that... Now, Dan can sneak you into the auction if you do some work for the Spree. The Spree are a gang of outlaws that survive on the outskirts of Admiralty territory. They rob from pretty much everyone and give mostly to themselves. That Ulu can get you in the front door of the auction, but you're going to have to stooge for the Admiralty to get our help. The Admiralty is what passes for government, but they comport themselves more like an occupying army. Don't expect to make a lot of friends along amongst the people if you pick this side. Interesting, okay. Um, well, but like, we are a bounty hunter, so I suppose we can be, like, a bandit? Um, it's not really, like, a good option. <laughs> either, on either side. Um, your, your face has two mouths. Do you know about this? Um, look at his hair. He looks, I don't know, he looks like, like, Profe Pro Professor X from, uh, Powerpuff Girls or something. But, you know, if Powerpuff Girls happened in Mad Max, um, the man meets your gaze with a face like barbed wire. Never heard that one. Um, I hear you've got an axe to grind, so I figure why don't we bury it in a few skulls, huh? Wow. What is you're after the biggest bounty in the butt in the bank, Cashio? And I guarantee you won't get anywhere near her without me. 
but my help doesn't come cheap. You do good work and survive to reap the benefits, then maybe we're in benefit. B business. Okay, look, we'll work for you. I am like... This was a rock and a hard place. This rock seems to... This this rock seems like the worst choice. <laughs> Glad you've convinced so easily. Um, you do good on these favors. First of business, take this. Pick up a spree card. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, if this attack kills an enemy or makes them panic, gain three power and heal five. Expend. Oh, okay. Well, we will like definitely do this, huh? An upgraded bleed card. This will tell people that you're under my protection. Nice. I've always wanted to learn a secret handshake. Okay. What's the actual job? Come on. Um, I know I'm happy. You know I'm happy to work with the Admiralty that can be brought to heal, but last QO is proving stubborn. Lazio has got influence that's useful to me, so I want her under my thumb, where she belongs. You're not my usual witless goon. Figure it out, Hunter. That's an order from your commander? Okay. Um, there's a pr that's a problem for the spree. So we need to remove her from her position one way or another. So we'll get a, we'll get a new graft here. It would probably be a combat graft, which is, um... Oh, we do have an empty slot, so actually that's fine. Okay, um... So I suppose we'll just murder someone. Because they're good at their job, which, um... Look, I don't feel great about, but I gotta murder someone else. <laughs> so... What is your hair? It's... Th that's a look. I don't have time for your nonsense. Yo, okay, I was so confused. This isn't me. <laughs> this isn't who we are. Um, I'm sorry, I'll figure something out. I promise. Okay. We can talk to you. Greetings once again. Yo, I'm... Look. Yeah, I'll do a fight. I noticed you're talking to Lesko. What's going on? That doesn't seem like any business. Maybe I can help out. Would it be my business then? So, um, I want to do this because we're going to be, like, upgrading cards. As you can see. Now, I forget. Let me look at our deck. I kind of forget. We're, like, we want influence so that we can, like, just destroy you. <laughs> um, I think we do this. Um, huh. We, uh... Suppose we do this. Like it's not great, but we'll just we'll just block and then we'll attack. It's not a great turn. We aren't really. I don't know if you can get you know give a card in nut, aka like. Always draw it first, but it would be great to be able to always get influence first turn. Diplomacy cards deal one less damage with a minimum of one damage. Um, that hurts. And you're doing five damage. Okay. Hmm, that's a that's a little bit spicy. So we'll play this. Now, what do we do here? What do we do here? Why did you take damage? <laughs> Hold up, let me look at our graphs. Whenever you gain influence, deal two damage to a random enemy argument. Well, how about we play this? We'll get to influence. And then hopefully, we'll hurt that. Um. Gain three composure. Whenever Sal gets a new argument. Okay. So we have one. Like we can. I think we really do. Apply composure here. Um, just. Well so that we. We don't die. Because we're probably going to have to negotiate with. Um, 
the actual person we came here to talk to? Am I blocking? I am blocking something. I don't know where... Here? Look, it's um... There's stuff everywhere, <laughs> to be honest. There's, there's stuff everywhere. I just realized it shows you battle, your battle graph up in the top. top. Um. Hmm. What do we do here? What do we do here? What are you doing? You're gonna apply composure and uh, resolve damage. So, I'm thinking, what if we do this? Now we should just get um, lots of damage off spending influence. Now it wasn't like, you know, perfect. And we'll um, composure. Now we do need to kind of get, you're kind of, you're working stuff up. When destroyed, why would you do that? <laughs> Bone tired, okay. Um, Upgrade ready. Oh, you've got four composure. <laughs> um, huh. I don't know, we might improvise here. Now. It's very boring, but we might go into composure. Um, what do we do here? I think we just st start working on that. Oh, we can we can go twice. Um, now I'll do nine damage to you. So we've got this in the bag. We're definitely going to draw at least one damage next turn. Um, but we're definitely going to be fine here. Three. Ooh. Okay. Um. We're actually gonna have to play it off this. Now it should do three damage, right? Yeah. Just to just to work the synergy through in my head. Yo, so you can upgrade multiple things at the same time. Um. I actually think we want another one of these. I don't really like our deck. I think it's got some problems. But, um... Remove this card permanently. Restore 5 Resolve. And apply 5 Composure. <laughs> um... Okay. Sorry, let me... Let me get all cross-legged up here. And yeah, I am in the same... I've been in the same outfit for all of these videos. Is it because we're doing them all in a batch? No. It's because I'm in my PJs and hey, it's quarantine, baby. I don't get changed. <laughs> um, let, let's go wild. Let's get a little bit of a heal. Um, I, I think we go with gain one influence here. Um, gain three composure. Spend one influence. This costs zero. Hmm. I actually think gain three composure is really good for us since we just kind of removed that composure card. Alright, here's the deal. Ekel explains that Let's Go isn't who they claim to be. What? Optional convince S equal to talk. Didn't I already do that? What? <laughs> um, so you have opponent has minus twenty resolve obtained blackmail information. Okay, well this is this looks easy. Reduce at the end of your turn, incept a planted uh, evidence argument if one does not exist okay 
So, we would love to just kill you, basically. Um, I'm not sure we can do it. Can we actually just do it? <laughs> we actually, okay. Um, wow, okay. I did not realize doing that extra fight would make that so easy. Um, apply to con composure to all your arguments. I don't know, we might just get some shields here. I don't want to keep on taking cards until I see that we have a problem. Okay, I'll do as you say, I just hope someone else picks up the torch. We never found out what the deal was. <laughs> Okay, we just found evidence, but we weren't privy to it. We are stopped along the road by an admiral, admiralty patrol, swinging their batons with some sh showmanship. You grip to get over here. There's a pompous curl to his lips that suggests you're in, a he in for a heap of trouble. Best watch yourself. You need to pay the toll. Um... How much is the toll? 100 shills? I... We need some money here. Look, we got... Look, we got a pretty good deck. I think we can take this all the way. Maybe. Now, what do we do here? I think we do this. Duplicity. Interbuild Rapport. We'll get 4 Influence. Do some damage to him. Now, we do this. That'll give us three composure. And we're fine. We're fine for this turn. And we've got a lot of goodness going on. When this argument is destroyed, deal four damage to the opponent's core argument. At the start of Zeta's turn, incept a planted e uh, evidence argument. Okay. So you're, you're annoying, <laughs> basically. What's this? Interrogate. Targets an opponent argument for e Okay. So you're you're a little you're you're spiced. <laughs> this random patrolman is a much tighter negotiator than someone for our quest. So what do we want to do here? I think we might get rid of that. That saved us some pain. Now, we don't want to play this because we'll get no real use out of it. We can play this, then we'll get three composure, and we might have to play keep cool, even though it's, it's boring. Um, yeah, even though it's boring, we did technically do some damage to him, so that's good. Frisk, at the start of Zeta's turn, steal 10 shills from Sal and remove one Frisk. Okay. Okay. So we're going to be taking some heat here. Um, that does 4 damage, okay. So I'm actually, I'm tempted if we can just compose... On Sal here, we can kind of just like ignore the planted evidence. We're having to do so much uh, defense here. What if we gain? What if we do this? Gain influence, then I attack this, and hopefully, okay, so that. Didn't really do all that much for us. Now. I don't know. We can... We can block with that. And I suppose, like, like let's do a... A big block. We've got the influence to spend. We do want to start turning up the heat. On this fight, though. Um... Just because, like, we're about to get, like, fatigued or something, I can feel it. So, 
But let's just start hitting the the lights out of you, basically. <laughs> um, and we need four composure on that. I'm actually, we're not going to get full composure on it, but it shouldn't kill. I'm really confused about how the count works. I thought the count is like extra padding. So I think if we, if we apply three composure, you will live on one. And then we might take the extra damage here. And hope for it. <laughs> Did not work. Um, so I think what's going on with the stacks is... Um, I don't know. I actually just don't know. Because I would have thought maybe, like... You know what? Maybe planted evidence is one damage. To the core argument. And then because we have four, it stacks that way. Because... Um, it doesn't seem to be six instances. It seems to be like six times the effect. But I find it confusing, to be honest. Um, Upgrade ready for that. Okay, so what do we do here? I think this works. We'll get some composure. We do need like two more composure, I think. No, 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 we're good actually. Because that'll take six damage and then it'll do four damage to our actual HP there. So, I mean, we, we want to do damage here and you're actually dead, huh? Overthought it. <laughs> Overthought it a little bit. Um... Brainstorm, none of this really is necessary. So upgrade, cancel, gain three influence, and apply three composure. So it's just, that one's just better, okay. Gain two influence, ambush. Having one of these on ambush, yo. Okay, so ambush is this game's inert. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. Um, insert flatter, compliment, or attitude. Spend one influence, deal two bonus damage. Okay, gain two influence, then deal damage equal to half your influence. Yo. Insert. Okay, so we're going to go diplomatic in instincts. And, um, and we have threaten here. So draw a card, attack twice with this card. But it does like way less damage. Well, it has half damage, but I suppose you're more likely to come out ahead. Because you're more likely to get three damage out of it. I do like that. I'll admit. I do like it. Um, I think we'll go with that. <laughs> it's like a it's like a weird upgrade. I'm a hunter officer and I'm on the job. If there's a toll I should be paying, I have a pass. I have to pass that expense on to my employees, employers, and they'll want a receipt with your name and everything. Just a bit of fun, Hunter. No need to get nasty. Okay. Um. So, like, our negotiation deck, it's a little bit slow. It's a little bit slow, but it's, it's, it's rolling at a nice pace. Okay, some people don't appreciate the way things work here. We get almost 200 shields. Okay, what do we want? Duplicate the first argument you create. That's just like a duping. Um, that's like going to dupe influence every single time. Yo, whenever you break defense within an attack, apply two bleed and gain Four defense. This seems better. Do we have what? What are our current graphs? Um, your attacks deal two bonus damage. Yeah, you know what? Like, let's go with a bit of a bleed synergy. I don't think duping influence is really that great. 
Okay, but this isn't an exclusive agreement. If you have other work that needs doing, go for it. Aren't you in a Dan? So you're from here? Yeah. There's murder in my blood and my blood in the bay. What the hell? Sometimes folks gotta out get out of line, but not for long. Okay. How do your people feel about you working with a hunter? Don't ask. If they got feeling that feelings, that's on them. You don't talk about it with them? I don't talk. I don't understand. Why why are we like interviewing this man? <laughs> Um, so what, what do we got here? There's something special. Meditation spot. We really, I don't think we need this. Challenging quest. Durno is hoping to get Ton fired so his friends can take over. Durno just needs your help making it happen. Okay, okay. So we're, we've got some open-ended stuff right now. I don't know if this is... I don't think that's timed. Let's check the meditation spot. Oh, I just realized there was something next to us as well. Um, so we can restore resolve. Or we can do this. You will increase your max resolve by 5. Lose 20. So we're going to be on 10. But... We can take more, more negotiations, maybe, in the future. Um, so what do you think here? We can go... The Admiralty has issued a bounty on Dola. There's 50 shills bonus if you bring her alive. So that's a battle thing. Or we can go take a tough negotiation. I'm thinking tough negotiation. Hold it. This here is a toll road. We will pay the toll. <laughs> you need a receipt? No. Good, because I ain't got one for you. Okay. These guys do suck. I, I agree. Dunno. Oh, you're actually, like, just in the room? See, I was going to buy a drink. <laughs> So we're gonna get um, some trash cards, but we're gonna get our resolve up to a little bit better. Gain cards. Okay. Done. Talk to Derno. Hello, Sal. I hear you got an opportunity. A friend of mine is coming to town and they need a job. Unfortunately, all the good ones are taken, often by unqualified Derek. Ton in particular. I've written letters of complaint to his superiors, but nothing's been done. Wow, after you wrote letters of complaint and everything. Right? My friend needs that job, so I want you to get Ton fired with horses if, ne if necessary. We can do this. Um, And we already hate the Admiralty because they're, they're making us pay tax. And um, that fills us with a unbridled rage that's never before been seen. So let's accept this. We'll get a graft as well. Share a drink. Done. Okay. Where do we go? Over to the harbor, huh? Okay. I've seen you before, right? You dislike us. Yeah, you dislike us. Brill and Eckle. Okay, in the grand scheme of things, Ton does pretty well for himself. For the on the day to day though, he usually comes up short. Okay. Forty. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Maybe we can pay this guy off. Paying someone off will pre prevent them from joining fights against you or helping your negotiation targets. Might be a bit of trouble coming. You're not going to interfere, are you? You know what? We can we can ask him to stay out of the negotiation. It's a lot. 
but it's less than I thought. So, um, look, we're gonna just assume that... 40 resolve is still pretty rough. Man, you walk here? It's kind of a dump, ain't it? It is? Okay, so what... First things first. What's the start? At the start of Ton's turn, incept a planted evidence. Argument. Okay. Okay, so what do we want here? Play a, um... We actually got influence off the bat. So we may... Should we just play two? Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, pretty much just play both of these. And then, um... We can play this to gain three composure, and we're fine. I don't know if it exists, but I would like more energy. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah, so this is a six stack of planted evidence, and it's gonna do six damage. I understand how it's working. Um... What do we want here? So we actually drew this on... What do we do here? What do we do here? Spend one influence, gain two bonus damage, and hit all arguments. Gain two influence, then deal damage equal to half your influence stack. So, I'm thinking we play this, get flatter. We dupe flatter to kill... To kill this. But then we're going to take damage, because we don't have the block. But we don't really have- we don't have the block anyway. Yeah, yeah, so I think this will work. Now give me Flatter. Now Duplicity into Flatter. Now Flatter will spend one amit one influence. Deal two bonus damage, and hits all- Okay, I kind of misread this. That it did five to both. But it's still, like, pretty good. <laughs> I, I thought we are going to target this, and then we'd just chip at the other one with 4 damage. Or 2 damage twice. Okay, so what have we got now? We're still going to be taking 4 damage. No, why? We're fine now, apparently. Yeah, we're fine. No, we're not. Because you do 6, you don't do 4 anymore. So we will take 2 damage. <laughs> There's a lot of moving parts in this one, okay? This isn't monster train. <laughs> so you're going to be doing 2 damage, and this is like you lose... Prisk, which I don't really mind. I'm kind of cool with that. You, you killing my influence is kind of BM. Um... If I'm honest. So let's play this. Let's... Play this. Now what happens? Okay, so you automatically just switch to another target. I was hoping that was not the case. Um, This is probably the time to play this. So we'll heal up and we'll get composure. That is gone forever. Though. I think. I think. Yeah. So I'm actually not sure that was... We don't have much block. <laughs> this is something I'm realizing. Um, just in total, we don't have all that much composure. I suppose we've got this. Why do we have no influence anymore? Did my influence die? I think I forgot to play... Did I shield this instead of the influence? Whoops. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Gain some influence. Then... Well, we can actually just kill you, right? <laughs> We'd have to get really unlucky for this not to work. And we have the composure, so we actually don't care. So it worked, we um, I think we stabilized. We came, we started on 20, we went down, and then we went back up to 20. Um, shill, actually. Oh, this is not shill. 
Spend to influence, gain two actions. Expend, interesting. We don't really have a draw engine, so I'm not sure if this is that useful. It's rare we want to play all four cards in our hand. Um, attack a random enemy argument. The evoke will never get played. Um, gain. At the beginning of your turn. Gain. What's a gain? Okay, so gain is just like a power. So at the beginning of every turn will gain one dominance. It's... It's alright. I don't think we take any of those. Just because they don't really synergize. We don't have hostility cards to really work with dominance. Um, and we don't really need more actions. Like, one more action? Good, but... I don't know. I think it's just filler. Someone of your skill set can do better elsewhere, right? There's got to be loads of opportunities available. You could get a job with benefits, or heck, even a raise. You know what? I could, yeah. There is his work badge on the ground. I'm desirable. I'm skilled. I gotta stand for this. The future's the limit, baby. Ton Sultan's sort is off to enjoy his newfound freedom, but not before throwing a rude gesture before his colleagues. The writing is is bang on. Except when like you blackmail someone, but they don't tell you what the blackmail is, that's kind of interesting. Okay. A grifter saunters before you, a scheme burning brightly in his eyes. Now, this is the other character. Grifter, a name for any factionless settler, explorer, or opportunist who hails from the Haverian Griftlands, okay? Greetings, French. Your timing is excellent. I have a business offer for you if your blades are for sale. They might be what's the scam. No scam, just a simple protection job. You see, I'm tailed by an assassin. They're about to catch up with me. You know what? Heck, we haven't had a combat yet. Let's dive deep. Oh, here. Here they come. Hang back and look intimidating, would you please? Sure enough, a lone figure soon approaches. Alright, friend, that's close enough. Uh, excuse me, you've got like cyborg grenades on you? <laughs> You're gonna pay for what you've done, Rook. I have heard that one before. Wasn't true then, isn't true now. Now my associate and I are going to put you down. You really don't know who you're in business with, do you? You're all just as likely to get shot in the back than whatever he's promised you. Stand aside or I'll bury you both. We'll... We'll fight. Isolated. You are in... You are in an isolated location. You can get away with murder here. Cult of Hesh. Envy. I do see that you have, like... Dr. Octopus hands. Um... We, we can attack here. We can attack. Though I am a little bit, like... Yikes. <laughs> um, Battle Mandible is kind of rough. Okay. So yeah, play this. Now, we're going to be taking some damage here. Rook, you have plus two power. And you get more... You just have like a lot of damage right now. But you're doing like a buff. Okay. What do you do first? I think you get the bleed going early. So we can get that DOT out there. And then I might just like heal us both once. Or like composure once. Crank. Counter. Okay, so he's put a counter on himself. And I think with... um, I think because of all the stat increases, he did extra damage on it. So that's actually pretty good. And you're you're attacking for eleven this turn. Though you're you're doing fourteen damage. <laughs> you insane. Please. Um Okay, so I think I think four defense on each is fine. 
Now, I don't really care for a stab, so let's fish. Let's fish. Um, I draw a card, discard a card. Gain one power. Draw two cards. So we might do this. Oh, but it, that would cost it. That one costs money. I will note, I will say, the, the fighting is a lot louder. <laughs> the fighting is louder um, than the other battles. Or at least this person's like sound effects. Apply three wound. So wound is you take bonus damage and bleed is just damage over time. Um, okay. So you're not doing damage this turn. So we probably want to go like hail to the king, baby. Um, whoops, get out of that. So that's 8 damage on a card. That's pretty good. 8 damage on that plus bleed is also pretty good. You know what? We got it. Let it spin. Okay. If this target has bleed, apply 2 crippler and 2 wound. That seems really good. Apply bleed for each card played this turn. If the target has 5 bleed or more, apply 2 cripple. Hide panel. You don't have 5 bleed. Heal 1 health per bleed on the target. Expend. I think we'll go with this. Boosted gash. Oh, but that one costs money. I gotta start checking that. Evasion. Dodge next hit. Remove 1 evasion whenever you attacked. Okay, so you'll dodge the next hit. But you're actually... You're gonna be panicked this... This or next turn. That said... You're, you're putting up a, a fair amount of damage right now. <laughs> so what do we want to do here? What do we, what do we uh, want to do? Fight dirty. I, lo I love this guitar. You hear this? This is really good. Okay. Trip. Apply to, to wound. We'll apply that. I don't know if you'll dodge. You didn't dodge that because it wasn't damage. But you're going to be taking like Mundo damage soon. So let's um, let's defend our... Well, it depends. Hold up. We can't... We can't actually get it to the point where you will panic this turn so yeah we're gonna put up uh defense on ourselves and then this might we might miss the damage but get the effect we did we got she negated the damage but we got the effect okay so that wouldn't have worked in slay the spire i think because most of those are like on hit do the effect so wound Minus damage. Are you gone? You're actually just dusted. <laughs> okay, so that was like... I don't know if we're like... Beginner levels or something, but dude. We're great. <laughs> Spend up to two combo. We don't do combo. Deal bonus damage equal to the cost of your hand. That's interesting. That's interesting. Finisher. That's that's the spend combo. I don't really like any of these. I mean, I suppose this would be good, but you would need to bring like you would need to play it after you played like a um a cripple, I think, when they take extra damage. But we can't the only thing we're guaranteeing is bleed. We don't guarantee anything else. So I think we just take some shills. Um, even though, like, I, I don't know if like, there's nothing to use. <laughs> okay, so Lumen Bio Accelerator. When this card is drawn, gain one evasion. Dodge 
dodge next hit, remove one evasion. So, okay, so this is unplayable. If this card is in your hand at the end of your turn, expend it. And that removes it for the rest of rest of battle. We'll take this. It does mean like one... For one hand, we will draw four cards. But we will also like just negate damage. So I think that's fair. Collect money, nine shields. <laughs> this must be because we killed her. Well, our, our teammate killed her. Um, restore resolve. Thank you, friend. I could have handled that myself, but I would have r risked breaking a sweat. Are you going to tell me that was all? Are you going to tell me what that was all about? For you, I assume it was about getting paid. No, for you and the Hesh head. Forgive me, but long experience has taught me the value of keeping my secret secret. If it's nothing personal, of course. Just a matter of policy. <laughs> okay. I like this line. We're friendly, not friends. After all. Suit yourself. I do. And I will. Until next time, Grifter. Rook heads off deeper into Murder Bay, carrying more baggage. Baggage. More <laughs> baggage than a pack Osh Oshnu. A domesticated giant snail. Under that ridiculous hat. It is pretty silly. Okay, so let's like finish this quest. We have like 600 shields. <sighs> okay. Job's done, Ton's out of work. That's great news. Hey, meet Oso. He's going to do a real bang up job. He is like the same dude, right? <laughs> Am I insane? I don't, I don't think that guy really... I don't think Ton actually had like a relationship. Now get to work, work you lady ocean. You get paid 100 shills, okay. And that guy likes us, and he is on the inside, so now we have a contact inside the Admiralty. Okay. Pick a graft reward. Now. Oh, wound is twice as effective. <laughs> so that would be like, extra two damage for every... Is it for every point, or is it just one? Like, if we deal one... 7 damage, with wound it'll do 8. I don't know. Whenever you play 3 manipulate cards in a row, deal 4 damage. Now we... At the top of your turn. That is never gonna happen. <laughs> View, um, negotiation. Are these... These are manipulate, okay. So these are all like kinda worthless. Whenever you play three manipulate cards in a row, um, it, it's possible but unlikely. Wound twice as effective. Do we have any? I like all of these graphs. I like all of these graphs. Let's get this. It's not useful. I think it's as useful. Social boon. Gain one bonus defense on all cards that apply defense. Is there a limit on boons? <laughs> <laughs> Gift 150 shells to Osu. Grant sparring. Look, I'm we got we got the cash. The Admiralty could always use more funding, yes. Wow, that's really generous. A wise investment. I like just getting one more defense. I think, look, I love playing def um, dexterity decks and Slay the Spire. I think that's worth it. Now we could get, <laughs> we don't need that one, but like we do have the cash. Bu buy cards, adrenaline shot. Hmm. Meh. Okay, so let's, um, 
Who are you? Topo. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Roadside market. Picking sides. Pick a side and start working for one of the factions in Murder Bay. We can go do this and then call the episode. This part of the road is usually pretty quiet, but you came across a bit of a ruckus all the same. Seems a bounty hunter was has finally tracked down their quarry. The bounty doesn't specif specify you have to be dead, Hiku, so come quietly and you won't get hurt. No, I think I'm good with a bit of hurt if it means putting you in the grave. Okay. This guy looks... He looks sad. <laughs> Having trouble here, Hunter? Hmm, I've heard of you. You're Sal, aren't you? What is your the real deal? You want in on this? Between the two, it'll be easy pickings. So... Um, I'm kind of like... Let them figure it out, but I'm also... It also seems like there's no reason not to. Now, I do want to see... You have a feeling you've lost once... You once lost a job to this guy, but that wouldn't have... That might have been a different... A long way, but it ha you hadn't heard he changed work? Okay. Spree Raider. Do we... I don't know if we know any Spree Raiders. I'm trying to, like, you know... Get some, get some synergistic, uh... Okay. So, Healy is a Spree Raider. Spree Raider. Okay. So. So, pretty much, look. Pray not, Hunter. Hiku is with me. Look. Do I have a reason? No. I just know that, like, lots of raiders like us, so may as well make it one more. Walk away and there'll be hard no feelings. No hard feelings? I've been tracking this mark for days. You're trying to steal my take. Well, guess what? I can take you both on. You cannot handle the me. Serrated so Dirk, Dirk being gone sucks. Okay. You will receive... We'll receive four damage and a status effect as well. What are these... What is the stance? Is this leg backwards? This makes no sense. <laughs> Your leg is like crisscross and backwards. Okay. Okay, what have we got here? Apply five defense. Um Let's summon the prototype, because we haven't yet. Let's go. <laughs> I don't think you do anything the turn you're summoned, but hopefully next turn you pog out of control. Um, we're going to start applying bleed here. Because I kind of forget. Look at all these graphs here. <laughs> or social boons. Outwitted. Whenever you are healed, okay. Whenever your attacks, your attacks deal two bonus damage. We should have played the bleed first. Okay. We can we can go through on this. Oh, you got bleed as well. And you actually attacked. It's going crazy, dude. <laughs> it's going wild. Okay, um, I think we can play this mandible. That reduce it, it does reduce it to one. So that's pretty good. Now we might, we might just destroy this card, get it out of the deck. And then we can just stall by just shielding you. This guy's crippled for six turns, <laughs> which is crazy. Ah. So we've drawn one evasion. 
which is great. You're gonna heal yourself. Which is less good. Um, but we can put more... What can we do here? Just hit you. Basically, just hit you real hard here. Now, we won't kill this guy. Maybe we should kill him. I don't want to kill him. But he also... I don't know if he should live. <laughs> like, I don't know if the words of my deeds should get out there. Bl cleaved? Bleed no longer decays? What? How do we get that? <laughs> well, like, look, let's accept surrender. Pick a battle card. I don't think we need any of these. I don't think we need any. So let's let's just get some shields again. Um, discard a card. I suppose we with bleed we should be playing this near last. Um, I think I'll take it, but I don't like it. <laughs> Thought you were a hunter, Sal. You know the profits go on the other way, right? Yeah, well, sometimes I can afford to lose a few shills. Now get out of here. Don't let me catch you coming after Hiku again. Probably could have handled that on my own, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, maybe. I guess what I'm saying is thanks. Okay. I'm hoping in the future, when we take on... Cashew, Cashio, the best calculator brand in existence. Rep the product. Actually, this is a shop. <laughs> um, okay. What was I doing? We just returned here. Still kicking? Add a girl. How'd it go? You and Nadean get all riled up by your hatred of the Admiralty? Mostly, he just seems like an opportunist to me. Yeah? Well, N Nen, I'm glad you found each other. There's opportunities aplenty for a crook like him and an arm like yours. It's gonna, like, need anything before you turn in. Um, I don't think we do. I do not think we do. So, rest in the back. Time to hit the sack. Say, someone came in looking for you earlier. They didn't look friendly, maybe sleep with one eye open, huh? Asking about me what they want. They said they wanted to hire you. But if you ask me, they looked like trouble. I sent them packing, said you were out on the road and wouldn't be back for days. Still, I got my blades under the bar if we need them. Okay. Head to bed. Something's not right. In the dim light, some of the shadows look darker than usual. Who's there? The figure steps out of the shadows, heavily armed. If it thinks like an assassin, then slinks like, slinks like an assassin. Okay. Let's, um... Let's demoralize him. <laughs> Your blade is so large, sir. Um... Interesting. We can, we can try and demoralize him. Do you even know who you're working for? Caring isn't part of the job description. Oh my lord. Well, maybe you should reevaluate that. Cashio doesn't like other clients. What are these? Impending doom. When destroyed, Zane gives, gives Zane one impatience. Zane will start next battle with two existential crises. What the hell? So impatience is a buff to him. like a big buff an existential crisis okay we'll increase his panic meter so whenever zane deals ga damage they gain composure equal to unmitigated but if we if we mitigate it completely you take damage okay so you're like you're feisty <laughs> basically um okay so what do we do here build rapport Apply composure. 
Um, and then we might just like shielded destroy or remove impending doom to release the shield. Are you insane? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> we also can't like kill that in this turn because we don't have the. Okay, let's just get as much um, influence as possible and deal with this next turn. <laughs> oh my lord. This one, this is a little bit spicy. So what's happening this turn? Basically nothing. Intense and target previews are hidden. Okay, never mind. It might be something. Um... Spend one- let's... Let's, um, kill that, I think. And see what we got going on here. So you've got one impatience. And you're not shielded anymore. Okay. Now what if we got- Attack this and give me some composure. Now what's got- what's going on? Dominance is going to take four damage. And that is perfectly fine. Um, that is, that, that's perfectly fine. Now, what do we want here? What do we want next? We've got one. Let's, let's use dominance while we've got it. I think, and let's, um, let's start working on his resolve. Just because... That missed the second target there. We discard the hand, and then he does damage. Okay. That's what happened there. We discarded the hand, lost our argument, and then the d damage got transferred. You're doing so much. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't know if we get... I don't know if we get this. Let's see. Requires influence. Okay. Applies in composure. Deploy bait. Let's see. I don't know if this does anything. <laughs> it's going to take two... Um, it's going to take two damage off the count for us. But that like, doesn't really do all that much for us. So this is like, this one's rough. This is a tough fight. Oh, and I forgot about the um, the damage. Okay. We. <sighs> we have no influence. So, um. Rip. <laughs> Basically. Basically, yeah, we have no influence because we um we messed up on that dominance play. This is rough. This is rough. What do we do here? I think we can duplicity into threaten and just pray for rain. Four. It worked, kind of. And just like keep, keep doing some damage to him. We're gonna take a lot. Um, we're gonna take a lot here. Now you're doing eight. Okay. Okay. What have we got here? So. It sucks. This, if this gives us what? We need, f like, f no, 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 no. Double composure on all arguments. Okay. Get influence. You desperately need it. <laughs> then double composure. He will take some damage. 
what have we got here? Fatigued. Cards no longer gain XP. That's actually fine. Cat here. That sucks though. So what have we got? Gain three composure. Is this even worth it? <laughs> You're not doing anything. Wait, yes you are. You're doing eight damage to my influence? <laughs> you, you mad man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, just stack it up. Okay, what's happening here? <laughs> you're doing, okay, remember, you're doing 18 damage. What's this? Ploy, target an opponent argument each turn. For eight HP. So like, should we just end you? Can we even end you? Not really. Insert flatter. I don't know. I don't know how we get out of this, <laughs> to be honest. Um, consideration here will give us something. Now, if we build rapport, we just get some influence in. Oh, and this is going to shift to something else. So that was, that's... <laughs> That's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. Please transfer to here. No, kinda. Okay, okay, please. Give us something to draw. 10 damage. Where are my damage cards? Where? Okay, so we got one there. So gain to influence. <laughs> Put in some composure. Put in some more composure. I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna get this. Um, I don't know how. <laughs> so we can do this. Gain influence. That'll give us some max. We've actually got him. Thank the Lord. Oh my God. Um. Okay. So we like want more composure. So give me, give me calm, please. <laughs> Oh my lord. Um. Apply for composure. You know what? Whatever. Now, what do we got here? Spend one composure. Spend one influence. So just more damage. Spend one influence. Deal six additional damage. So when you have influence, this will do eight. When you have influence, this will do nine. Um, apply six. I'm kind of like, let's just do this. Let's get really high composure cards and only have to play one per thing. Um, hmm. Let's go with draw a card. It's not great. But the other one I'm not into. Just remember, she wouldn't want to have me killed if she didn't consider me a sizable threat. But no problem, you'll handle what Cassio couldn't, right? The assassin doesn't answer, but she can tell he's off balance. We don't get an advantage anymore. Okay. 
sharpened blade. Pinned, okay. So what's going on here? At the end of each turn, increase this fighter's panic meter by two. Okay. Sharpened blade, insert a bleed card into your draw pile. Whenever we take damage, okay. And we've already gotten an evade. So we're, we're, we're rolling here pretty much. Okay. Get the bleed out first. We've learned. Well, that, that wasn't bleed, but now it's bleed. Plus wound. Now we get, like, Mundo double damage. Oh my lord. Okay, what have we got here? Apply two bleed. Or just apply big boy damage. I think big boy damage right now. Dude, I'm leaning forward so much. I'm hyped up. <laughs> the battle music, it's going. So what have we got here? We're going to be taking... Ignores damage blocked by defense. Okay. That's kind of rough. Considering we, we drew all defense. Um, apply one cripple. I don't think we need that right now. Or maybe we do. I think we do. One cripple would be nice right now. I love the animations. Whoops. <laughs> we'll just play that one for the XP. Um, at the end of your turn, take three damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This. Oh, all together? <laughs> Are you insane? Um, okay, okay. What do we got going on? Apply to blade whenever you hit a target with an attack for the rest of the turn. Oof. Ability. Whenever you apply bleed, apply bleed to all other enemies. Apply to bleed, discard this card. Okay, that was useless. <laughs> okay, what have we got going on here? We we sh need to cripple you, basically. Unless you've already crippled. You have not been crippled. Deal three damage back. Remove all counter. Okay. So put up some defense. <clears throat> then, cripple you. Now, I'm a little bit worried about this. But I think we do it. We may have to watch out for him getting attacked. But if you don't have counter, you do have counter this turn. We didn't draw them all in one turn though. So that's okay. Okay. You don't have bleed anymore. We can apply bleed. Which I think we might do. Maybe. But we want this. Cripple is going. Get wound. Because I... I don't know if we actually do more damage doing that, but it feels cooler. It feels cooler, goddammit. Um, bleed. Yep. Pinned. We finally drew it. Kind of like, yeah. <laughs> if we play this, then, uh, then we can take three damage. <laughs> I'm not sure. When this card is drawn, gain one evasion. So that didn't really count, huh? Okay. That's interesting. We'll get evasion later. Let's get the bleed on you to get you just out of this house. I keep on clicking. It's like a slave spire thing. I just click everywhere. So you have counter again. Whenever apply to bleed, whenever you attack. Don't know if that's happening. 
Okay, we can we can fight dirty. See what we got. Apply two wound. Draw a card, discard a card. Huh. We could discard one of these. It's dumb, but I'm like. <laughs> we will take less damage. Um, then I don't even know. Just like enter. He's got counter. I don't want to waste too much HP. Um, you're gonna. You're gonna panic this turn. So, really, if I can just put up block. We don't have to do anything. I'm loving this this combat drone. Um, I'm actually gonna accept surrender. Look, he's an assassin, but if he goes back to Cassio, nothing. I don't think we're actually gonna get anything from it. This isn't 1999. You kill assassins, <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. Pick a battle card. Whenever you discard, blip. Whenever you play a card, gain one defense and expend. I, I do like that. Improvise a random column, common or uncommon. I, I like this. So let's try a, an ability. We haven't had an ability yet. So the negotiation costs one less for each influence you have. Lose one influence. Hmm. Hmm. I'm actually kind of into a know-it-all. Whenever you destroy an argument, gain an action. Bulldoze is also interesting. I don't think we need more costs. Like, lose influence. But I'm kind of like... Now, this seems good. Gain three smarts. It seems kind of easier. Hmm. Because you kind of just play it. But you know what? It's you. You spend one. You don't get the extra turn that turn. You get it the next turn. But this turn, you take more damage. I think we're going to take Bulldoze. Um, and then we can upgrade some defenses here. Ooh. Remove a random debuff. Ooh. I, I, I'm loving three counter. Now, what have we got here? Apply 10 defense and destroy. So these are, like, randomized, maybe? Um, I don't think we want to destroy that card permanently. I think that's insane. I suppose we'll just do that. It's kind of boring. <laughs> it's it's a little bit boring. Fish charges into the room, moving spryly for a Kadeshi her age. Her jaw locks when she sees the mess. That's the stranger I told you about. You all right, kid? Cashio sent them. Typical Cashio leaving others others to clean up her mess. Um, we could get Fish to kill the assassin. Just just let him go. Go back to K Cashio and tell her this is. This only whets my appetite. It's your funeral, even if it's been postponed. Yeah, but now we've set. We've planted a seed of discontent in Cashio's operation. Nen, we can use our army of uh, spree raiders to absolutely rule the entire country. And create the third dynasty of. I forget what her name is. <laughs> Kylo? I don't... Sal. Sal. Kylo is Kylo Ren. <laughs> Zen leaves the door, but you make a note to reinforce the barricade. Leaves by the door, but you make a note to reinforce the barricade on all the windows. I gotta say, kid, this seems like a bad idea. Just imagine the look on Cassio's face when she finds out that her assassin failed. Sure is satisfying. Let's hope this doesn't come back to haunt us. Now go, gotta go back to booby trapping the bar in earnest. Fish stands guard by your door for the rest of the night, leaving you to catch up on your shut-eye. 
Okay, pick a graph reward. We have one. He's like up. Do you upgrade? You upgrade the graphs as well, huh? Interesting. Whenever you gain dominance, deal one damage. This would happen. Um, at the start of your turn, reduce the cost of a random card by one until played. This seems super good. At the start of your turn, reduce the cost of a random card. Oh, so good. You gotta go with, like, just cheaper card. <laughs> you spend time slapping together some makeshift security. If anyone comes through the windows now, you'll know about it. Bed calls to you. You dream of the grime beneath your nails and how it'll never come clean. In the dream, it's actually comforting. What? <laughs> okay, okay. So, you, do we heal to full here? We do, okay. New loved. Look at those likes, though. <laughs> so, someone does dislike us. A lot of graphs gotten. When you wake up, you almost think the grog is beginning to look homely if you hadn't almost been murdered. Okay. You find fish stands, fish behind the bar, ringing the bar top to snap with, a, with electricity. She turns off the current as you approach. Oh, rigging the bar top to snap with electricity. You know, customers drink at this bar, right? Customers ain't got nothing to worry about. But no more assassins on my watch, that's a guarantee. This will take a while to set up, so why don't you go bother Nadan and see what you can do to get closer to Cashio. I'll have a job for you later if you're interested. She turns back to the bar and flips the switch. Clearly, you've been dismissed. Okay. Okay, that's where, that's where we're going to leave it for this episode. Um, the combat is really good <laughs> so far. It, it's got a lot of moving parts. I will give them that. Um, both in the UI and then also like, just with, you know, the dominance, gain arguments for one turn, discarding them, bleed, you know what? It's, it's, it's a lot to keep track of, but I am enjoying a card game with a little bit of narrative. It's cute. Anyway, um, you guys know the spiel. You can see more stuff here and like on the YouTube channel and also over on Twitch where we stream three days a week, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, 7 p.m. until 10 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. You can also, you know, do all this stuff, hit the like button, the comment section. Look, it, it basically just helps. YouTube has pretty bad discoverability for very small content creators and all of that stuff will actually be quite a big benefit to me. So if you like the content, maybe you should think about doing it. Anyway, see there's a giant gun here. <laughs> it's a giant gun battery that is firing. Anyway, I'll leave it with that. See you guys. See ya.